<sighs> the death of Mr. McQuackles. It must be like the other one's out. Here is the mod story. Let's check it out. I kill a duck, okay? This story is not meant to be a nice fluffy one. It does involve me murdering a duck. If you don't like those kind of stories, I don't recommend you watch this, okay? <laughs> also, I live streamed this story, so that's why the audio is kind of off. But yeah, enjoy. Uh, okay. Do you like ducks? Oh, boy. What a simple question that, that has an amazingly awful story. Okay. Um, <laughs> right, so... When I was young, I used to have a little pet, and he was, his, he was a duck, and he wasn't officially my pet. What it was, was outside my house in my backyard, there was a little pond, and in the pond, a duck used to come every day, and I, you know, it, might, it may have been different ducks, I don't know, but I think it was just one duck, and I called him Mr. McQuackles, and you know, Mr. McQuackles was the homiest duck you could ever imagine, okay? And I spelled Mr. McQuackles with two Ks, because that's how much of a homie he is. Not with three Ks. Right, so, right, Mr. Mr. McQuack was coming in, and he's swimming along, and I love that guy. I just, I actually just walked to the patio and just watched him swim around here. Yeah. But then one day I was sitting out in the patio watching Mr. McQuackles, and then another, another duck comes down, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, this is, you know, Mrs. McQuackles, you're boning that, go for it, Holmes. <laughs> but then, like, the duck, they, they start, like, interacting with each other, I'm just like, oh, they're kissing. And then I see blood, and I'm like, oh, oh, what? And so what actually happened was the other duck swooped down and just started pecking the uh, Mr. McQuackles to death. <laughs> and it, the, the feathers were getting pulled out and there was blood everywhere and I was like crying and I was running to the pond. And I didn't want the other duck to kill Mr. McQuackles. So I grabbed his neck and put it under the water. And, <laughs> and, and, I, and I drowned it. And I just drowned. <laughs> I just drowned the duck. <laughs> what? And so... But then when I looked, Mr. McQuackles had already died, and he was already dead, and he was floating in the blood. So in the pond, at the end, it was just two dead ducks floating on the pond with feathers everywhere. And I didn't want it, I, I was young, so I didn't want my mom to find out, so I just grabbed both ducks and I threw it over the fence. In, in the in the pool was just like a bloodied feathered pool and two dead ducks over my neighbor's fence. <laughs> People always ask me, is it possible to drown a duck? Yes, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes it is. <laughs> I got a double kill that day. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a little different from what I usually do, but I hope you guys like this format of other people being involved when I tell my stories. A um, major, major shout out to my friend Burrito Shake. He makes some amazingly funny comics. I binged most of them in one day. Am I biased because he made a comic of me? Yes. Yes, I'm biased. Okay, he's cool. Go check him out. Also, major shout out to my friend Mega Charlie 159 and Lovely Art Mess. They're cool. They're cool pals. Go check him out. Alright, laters.